What's going on guys, Shanji here, and today we're going to be talking about the best Call of Duty Warzone loadout to currently have in the meta of Call of Duty Warzone. Now with that being said, we're going to head over to my loadouts and we're going to see that my BR loadout named it, obviously, kind of have to, it's the first one, because when you get those loadout crates you got to be quick or you will get shot. Now for one, this loadout is mainly just my opinion, but I think overall it does work in the overall meta of just Call of Duty and these large scale modes nonetheless. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm rocking the M4A1 and the AX50, an AR, and a sniper rifle. I think the AR sniper rifle combo in this battle royale is almost a must. I don't like SMGs that much. LMGs can be bipolar, but the two weapon classes that really, really continuously just work every single time is ARs. So specifically, I'm using the M4A1 and the ARX50. Mainly because, you know, I do have a lot of attachments for these weapons, and attachments are pretty key, especially in Warzone, deciding what you want to rock. So, that being said, M4, M4A1 and my ARX50 are my choices, and I do think these are the best weapons you currently have right now. Now, going into the M4A1, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory, you know. The reason for these attachments are kind of well, some of the biggest issues I have with Warzone. Now, we have a, U a mini map in Warzone. You don't want to be on that minimap because people around you will see you. So that being said, Monolithic Suppressor is pretty important to have. Now, with that being said, long range is also important. So a barrel, a longer sized barrel is also pretty important. I'm rocking the Corvus Custom Marksman. It increases damage range, bullet velocity, and bullet con uh, recoil control. The Monolithic Suppressor also I didn't talk about. Sound suppression and damage range, you know... This suppressor does not hurt your damage over range. So with already this massive, you know, range difference between you and your opponent most of the time, this amount of the suppressor will not affect that. Why I think it's one of the best attachments, if not one of the must-haves in all of your weapon attachments, a monolithic suppressor. Now, when it comes to optics, I choose a 3.25 time scope, the Scout Combat Optic. The reason I chose this is because I like seeing medium to long range and at least having some sort of visibility long range now i'm not saying this is the best up close but i can use this up close i'm perfectly fine with using the uh, 3.25 scope up close but when it comes to one of these one-time sites or these two you know one time i don't even think there's a two-time site when it comes to all those other sites i'm not really comfortable using them longer ranges and i want to make sure i can at least see things without giving myself away with a sniper glint with my sniper so 3.25 allows me to do some recon control you know scouting as well as just see where my bullets are going at greater distances, and that's kind of the reason why I have it. Now, in terms of rear grip, I have the granulated grip tape. Don't know, I definitely say that. Basically, aiming stability, walk aim steadiness. Nothing too crazy. I really just choose it just to, you know, aiming stability in general. Don't want too much shake. And the Merc 4 grip for my underbarrel. Recoil control, hip fire accuracy. Again, hip fire accuracy also helps because, you know, maybe I don't aim down sight, maybe I just hip fire. Things like that work. So that's my M4A1. Obviously, I have Red Tiger skin on it. Whatever skin works for you. Don't probably maybe not something very bright, but yeah, these skins work for me, and this weapon works for me significantly. Now, when it comes to the ARX50, this is you know my setup. Monolith suppressor. We already talked about that. A 32-inch factory barrel, damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. You really want to have barrels that incentivize and increase your bullet velocity. A lot of your engagements in the war zone are from long range, so increasing your bullet velocity will help your, you know, hitting targets more accurately, more because you don't got to worry about, you know, travel distance, you know, bullet trajectile, the arc, and all that stuff. You don't really got to worry about that too much. Now we also have a thermal scope optic. So if in gameplay you've probably been seeing in the background or at points in this video when I talk about loadouts. The thermal scope optic is pretty important. Now, some of the footage you will not be seeing me use. The I'm thinking of using a variable scope. I decided to switch over to the thermal scope because seeing I just I got sniped one time. I'm like, wait, what? And the thermal scope has increased range. Now, there is a counter, cold blooded. People do run cold blooded, but I still see my targets that are you know with cold that I have cold blooded on extremely well. It's not really a hindrance to my performance, and I can still see those guys. Maybe not as clearly as someone who obviously is lit up. But you can definitely see targets from long ranges in Warzone and just uh, pointing out your enemies and knowing where they're at and making that call out to your team is so important in terms of your placement in Warzone, how are you positioning yourselves against other teams. Seeing them from long ranges with this scope, it, it really, it really is just something 
to have as a must. Now, on top of that, I have a stri uh, stepped grip tape. You know, aim downside speed, sprint to fire speed. You know, that's pretty important for me. It, it, it helps out a little bit. And then your ammunition. You know, have a nine round magazine. There's no need to have a seven round mag or anything less because. You want as much bullets in your sniper. You don't want to reload when you're sniping. You want to make sure you can put down as many shots on target, especially if the guy goes down. Reloading after you down somebody is probably the most frustrating things that can happen to you. But that being said, that's pretty much my Call of Duty Warzone loadout. My biggest issue with, you know, Call of Duty in general. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention perks. We got double t double uh, time, um, overkill, and amped. Double time, you know, increased tactical sprint, moving really fast, you know, that speed. Crouch movement speed by 30% and just increasing the duration of your tactile sprint. This is the fastest sprint in the game. So tactile sprint is pretty important when you want to cross a big road or something really quickly without getting killed. So yeah, that is pretty important. But uh, in general, I mean, I really, really, really think that loadouts in this game do ruin the balance. And there's no reason to pick up any guns in warzone you know if you need something to get by you that's fine you need something real quick and easy you don't have the money that's fine but loadout drops are pretty important and how you create your class is also really really important with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think about this loadout do you guys have any changes do you guys use a different ar a different sniper rifle again a suppressor for me is pretty much a must some you know warzone has some issues on certain things in terms of you know balancing and things just don't make sense and it's more about you know like the main keys of battle royale are kind of missing from this battle royale it's just more about killing and sometimes that can get really slow but with that being said that's really much all i gotta say in this loadout let me know what you guys think in my opinion do you guys think it's the best loadout to have in call of duty warzone or do you guys have a better one let me know down in the comment below make sure you guys like and subscribe for more call of duty content with that being said hope you guys have a great day shannon here and i'm out